this day gets worse to worse. I never imagined of hurting anybody and I never imagined I'd be arrested or in a jail or police station. Evening, Dustin. Oh, I um, can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I even. Well, stuff happens. We'll have a chance to talk. I about mean, it. I don't. I've never hurt anybody, sir. Okay. And I mean, I'm not saying you're hurting anybody. Yeah. I'll just, just slow down. I'm gonna have to get yeah. some information from you. Okay. I don't. I don't I just, you know who I am? No. And you're sitting here telling me your whole life story. Just hold on a sec, okay? I'm, I'm too honest about everything, okay. sir. And. Well, we'll get, we'll get a chance to talk all about it. I mean, that. you can see that. You want a water? No. Okay. I'll probably throw it up right now. Well, it's there if you want it. I'll well, just it. relax, man. Just relax, okay? Just calm down, all right? We're just going to talk a little bit, all right? I'm going to get some information from you real quick. I mean, like the Dateline NBC guy told him. Well, I'm not with Dateline, I'm an okay? Idiot. I'm not with Dateline. My name is John, all okay. right? My name is John Dudinsky. I'm with Kentucky Bureau of Investigation, now the Attorney General's office, okay? okay. I'm an agent, and which means I'm a policeman, okay? Um, ain't no reason to be all nervous or anything. All we're going to do is we're going to talk. I'm going to get your name and stuff, all right? I'm just... All right. The reason I'm nervous is because, honestly, this can kill my mama. Okay. But I am an only child. Well, it's... Let's do this. You sound like you want to you wanna talk to me, okay? And I want to hear what you have to say, but until I tell you this, we need to... I just, I don't want to get to jail because I can't, I couldn't deal without having the jail. I understand that. Because, I mean, I can't walk without this. I understand. Okay. Before I ask you any questions, you got to know your rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court or in other proceedings. You have a right to have an attorney before you make any statement or answer any questions. You can have your attorney present during questioning. You may request a court to appoint an attorney for you if you cannot afford to hire one. All right. If you start talking to me and you want to quit talking, you can stop at any time by refusing to answer questions or by requesting consultation with your attorney. All right. I don't like lawyers, and I'll be honest, is You don't like lawyers? No. <laughs> All right. Um, what this says here is that I've read you your rights. Do you understand them? Yes, sir. You understand that you can stop talking at any time yes, you sir. want to. You can have an attorney. You can have an attorney with you during questioning. It's 11.09. Yeah, I forgot it's the time change. Yeah, we're on central time. I'm an idiot. I did a lot of wrong. And okay. If you understand your rights, as I've read them to you, if you'll sign right here for me where it says signature. Something I've ever done. Okay. Now this this waiver down here says that you having the above statement of your rights read and explained to you and you fully understand them and that's correct, right? Correct. You hereby waive these rights at eleven ten PM and you're wanting to talk to me, correct? Yes, sir. Um, you know the really bad part of this? The daylight on the NBC guy said I wouldn't be under arrest. I could leave. Hold, hold on a sec. Just sign right there. Well, Dateline doesn't doesn't work for for us. They're not policemen. They're news people. I know, but that's just wrong that he lied to me. Right. 
we'll which talk, I mean, I understand, we'll talk about that in a minute. I understand why I'm here. Right. But he shouldn't have lied to me, you know? Right. He should have said, well, you are under arrest. Like I said. Okay. I'm going to turn this on real quick, all right? And then okay. I thought you were videotaping. Nah, I'm going to tape record it. I'm old-fashioned, man. Oh, okay. Why'd you go digital? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what this was when I saw it. I was like, where you put the tape in? <laughs> yeah, go. I was supposed to buy my buddy one of those this week so he could write his book. Oh, yeah? He's going to write a book? Yeah, he's a wrestler, but I won't mention no names because that don't need to be in All right. anywhere. Well, it's 2311, and uh, I'm talking to Dustin. What's your last name, Dustin? McFetridge. McFetridge? Yeah. Okay. So the whole world will find me easily. All right. If it's released, and I mean, I don't want trouble. I don't like trouble. I'd have never hurt her. I was well, going to meet her. I wasn't going to force her into anything. And this m morning, I think it was 11, 12 Eastern time, she had called me and come see me, please, because my parents are going to be out of town, please. I'm like, okay, I was going to call. I thought she was going to call and we was going to talk and discuss stuff and everything because she has called me a few times and I mean it was out of the ordinary and I like the NBC guys said she, she said she was 13 I thought she was 17 sometimes I have a bad memory I know 17 is under the limit too I was talking to her and I was thinking okay she turned 17 and then when she turns 18, I'll meet her. And if anything's meant to be, i meant to be then. Well, you're kind of, you're kind of starting, like, just, just tell me a whole story out there, but not from the beginning. Why don't you, why don't you start from the beginning of how you met her and... Okay, I can. Okay. I was just being honest. And well, I be honest from the beginning. Yeah, like okay. I said, you jumbled it all up there for me. Start from the beginning. How'd you happen to meet her? Okay, I was in a... Yahoo chat room, I don't know, Tennessee chat room. Tennessee chat room? Yeah, it was a Tennessee chat room. It was probably one, two, five, seven, or nine. So that's just usually the ones I go through. And I mean, I've only talked to one other underage girl, and that was a problem, like I told the NBC guy. Well, we'll get to that. Tell yeah. me about this girl. <laughs> yeah, okay, I am. I'm just trying to explain everything and I'm bad at telling stories. All right. I met her, I talked to her some and she's real friendly, real nice and everything. And like I said, I thought she said she was seventeen. You know, there's no problem with talking to somebody or calling somebody at the eight. I don't think there is, is there? No, I mean no problem talking to somebody who's seventeen. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, well, I'm asking the law because I'm I'm not. I know you can't do nothing with anybody under eighteen if you're over eighteen. I know that much. Okay. I didn't know if it was bad for me to pick up the phone and talk to a seventeen year old and say, "Hey, how are you?" I didn't know. <laughs> so you're talking to her. Yeah, and we're friends and everything. She's being sweet and joking around and stuff and I mean it's in Did the, you ever see her? I seen photos photo of her or something on her MySpace. Okay. And Did she ever see you? Yeah. I gave her my MySpace page. I mean I share information. I, right. I'm a very open person. I mean it's like I told her a few days after we started talking. Yeah I'm I have cerebral palsy. I walk with a cane. I don't know. I don't know if I told her about my hand or not. And stuff like that. And I'm very open. I don't want to hurt nobody. And I like to make friends. The internet's the best way I can make friends because people look bad upon me like I'm retarded or something. Person. So it's hard to make friends other than that. I mean, there's a lot of bad stuff that happens on the internet like this and people lie but you can make some good friends on there 
and I don't, it's just, and then we just started talking and I don't know, I lost my head. I done something stupid and stuff and I egged it on and she encouraged and she egged a little bit and I mean like I said, today, she egged me coming up here. I didn't have no plans of doing it. I really didn't want to, but she's a sweet person, and I didn't want, want to upset her. And that was stupid. I should have told her no, and if she got mad, oh well. But I I wasn't thinking. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll meet her, hang out. Nothing bad. I mean, I've stupid thing is, I've heard reports like this in Virginia and other states and stuff like that. And these weirdos will bring ropes and knives and stuff. I didn't bring... Do you, do you have anything like that in your car? No. Would you mind if we looked in your car? I'll be honest tell you everything that's in it, as far as I know. Well, what, I, what I'd like yeah. to do is, is get you to say it's okay for us to look in your car. Yeah, it's fine. Because we want to verify that you didn't bring nothing to kill her or anything. No, the only bad things I brought was my electric razor mm -hmm. because she said she wanted to be shaved down there and I don't know why I did that mm -hmm. and I think I Let me. I, I can't remember I thought I brought some hand moisturizer or KY jelly I don't know which it is okay. I can't remember what was and that for I don't know I don't know why I even brought it I wasn't thinking I just picked it up hey Justin if uh if we're going to talk and be honest with each other, I am. okay? I am. I'm going to be honest with you. I know where you're coming from. It's yeah. it's hard to meet people, okay? Yeah, I mean, I, get I, on, I picked it up. <laughs> okay, hold on a sec. I know how hard it is to meet people. See that? I'm 40 years old. You know what I mean? I try to meet people all the time. Never I understand what it's like to get on the internet. You mm. know what I mean? To meet people, okay? Mm. I understand what it's like to go visit people. But I never get in my car and throw KY jelly in there without a reason. All right, but I, I'm being honest. Why did you throw the KY jelly in the car? I don't. I, like I said, I don't know if it's KY or okay. hand lotion. I okay. Okay. What were you going to use it for? You can. One's for sex. One's for washing your hands. You weren't going to wash your hands with KY, right? No. What were you going to use it for? I guess. Was it in case you had sex with her? Yeah, but I was going to try not to. I understand but that. I'm, I'm being honest. I understand you got to... I mean... I'm a man, too. You got to try and resist, yeah, right? It's hard. But if it would have happened, I'd've... you had the KY jelly, you were prepared. Yeah, but, I mean, I okay. ain't going to lie to you, and I mean... Okay, well, let's do I this. I don't know. Let's do this right here. Like I said, I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. And I mean... Well, I'm not calling you an idiot, you know? I'm calling myself one. Well, I'm not going to call you one. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to listen to your story, okay? And we're going to talk about a few things that I mean, are in your chat just to make sure everything's okay. What kind of vehicle are you driving tonight? A 2005 PT Cruiser, and it's actually in my mother's name and my name. What, uh, what color is it? Depends on how the sun hits it. It's a bluish purple. Okay. I'm being honest. It's it's a weird color. I've only seen one other one like it. Tennessee tags? Yes. It's good memory. Well, come up with the same. Go I couldn't it. tell you the plate number of my I'll... truck, and I've had it for five years. <laughs> Somebody ever steals it, I'm in trouble. Yeah, well, that's I'll, that's I'll pretty I'll, good. That's the second vehicle I had, and that's the only vehicle I've locked. So, all right. And I told you already, my name is John Dudensky, right? Yes. And I'm with the Attorney General's office. Mm. I mean, please don't arrest me because it's. Can't survive in jail. Well, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna them. we're gonna talk about some stuff. All right, so just stay calm, drink your water, relax. We I can't drink water. We got we got time to talk. Okay, so 
We're not going to get in a hurry about anything. Wants the camera recording or something? Yeah, that's so that, you know, protects both of us. You mm -hmm. can't say I did something to you in here, and I can't say that, you know, you mm -hmm. did something you didn't do. I mean, like I said, I, I'm going to cooperate because, I mean, I'm so guilty. I mean, I'm under a rock. Okay, what this states is that uh, I did anything but physical. You hereby consent to a complete search of the premises, property, or vehicle located at Bowling Green Police Department. What, what was all those cameras here? Is that NBC or what? Yeah. They have to get my permission to use it, don't they? Well, you're gonna have to discuss that with them. I don't have anything to do with that. I'm with, I'm with the police agency. Uh, I thought you all had done this before. I mean, like I said, I've read about. Okay, this states that you consent to a complete search of your your vehicle located at Bowling Green Police Department, and more particularly described as a 2005 PT Cruiser, bluish purple. You grant this consent to John Dudinsky, known to you as an agent of the Office of the Attorney General, and to such other officers deemed necessary to assist. You know that you have a right to refuse consent, and you voluntarily give up that right. You know that the agent does not have a search warrant. You have not been threatened or coerced in any way, nor have you been promised any favor or benefit. You have read this consent form, or had it read to you, and you understand it. The date is 20th day of October, 2007, and the time is 11.21 p.m. Is that correct? So. And you're going to allow us to look inside your vehicle, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I just need you to sign right there. And I mean, honestly, that's all that's in that bag. As far as in the back, they might be two pairs of shoes. Okay. I'm... I'm it's hard for me to clean, so... All right, are there any weapons or anything in there? If there is, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> because I don't know about them. Okay. There might be a few DVDs in my buddy's wrestling promotion, but that's about okay. it. Okay. Could you print your name here for me, please? Okay. And then write your, your address. I'm in and in, but they so bad to do that. Tell you what, I'll write your address in for you. What's your oh, address? I'll do You guys ain't going to like, go search the house right now, are you? No. We're, because, I mean... This is for your car. I just need to put that Okay, on. because I was going to say, if y'all are, let me at least call my mom and tell her what an idiot I am. Right. Well, Before this, is just, this is just for your car, okay? Yeah. Are you hungry? No, I'd throw up, man. I appreciate it. Well, I didn't know what your medical situation was no, if but you needed something to eat to keep your blood sugar level. As or? upset as I am, I might have a panic attack. That's the only thing. Do you take any medication or anything no, that you're due for? No, ma'am. I don't. Well, I'm going to leave this here just in case you end up needing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me, I think they're going to uh, let him. Uh, whenever you're ready, come and go ahead and mm -hmm. take this out. Uh, you need something, John, give me a hand. So, you met, just take us back here, you meet her online, 
you uh, talk for a while, send each other some pictures, get to know each other, yeah. get to chatting on the internet. She actually come up. You throw KY jelly in the car, and just in case, and I believe you. I guess mm-hmm. you tried to resist. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I mean, I I wouldn't force myself on anybody, and I mean. Well, let me ask you I, this. I, I couldn't you, force myself. Let me ask you this. You. Uh, you said you talked to another another girl that was underage one time. And what what happened on that? The I had originally talked to an older lady, thirty late thirties, early forties. Where was she at? The Tri Cities. What's the Tri Cities? Is that what the city's called? Or? It's Kingsport, Johnson City, Bristol. I can't remember which city it was. Okay. I all mean, in Tennessee. Yeah. They're Kingsport, all right. Bristol, and Johnson City. Okay. They call them the Tri Cities because you can hit any of the th- one from the other within like five mile distance or something. Right. That's why they call it the Tri Cities. And she had me start talking to her fourteen year old daughter, and I said I didn't want to. And she gave her daughter my name and everything, and her daughter was wanting to date me, and she was wanting me to. The lady was wanting me to date her daughter, and I was like, no, and I tried to be a pervert to get her to leave me alone. And then her, I said, all I want is sex. And who would you tell that to, the daughter or the mom or what? I know the daughter, and I'm wanting to say the mom, too. What was it? What was the mom's name? I couldn't tell you. This has been, uh, I think... I'm, I'm trying to go back in my mind. 2000, 2001. How old were you then? 21, 20? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like. I was so just, the mom asked you to talk I was to trying your to daughter. Get, yeah, I'm trying to. And you start get, talking to her. And then the mom wants you to start dating her daughter? Yeah. Did she ask you that online to date her daughter? I believe so. And actually, I told. The mom was. Asking me what I was doing for my birthday. I told her I was going out to dinner at a Japanese steakhouse. What was the name of it? I'm trying to think. That's what I'm saying. My memory's bad. <laughs> so, I mean, that's part of cerebral palsy, I think, is a little damage there. Yonder. Uh, it was some kind of Chinese or a Japanese steakhouse. I told her. She shows up looking for me. The mom did. With the daughter. Mm-hmm. That was a little strange. And the the man was, the, the woman's boyfriend was a cop. And, I mean, I, I apologized and I cleared it up without going to. What would you have to apologize for, though, if she wanted you to date her daughter? I was trying to cover anything up just so I didn't go to jail or anything because I mean people there's something missing from that story that don't make yeah, no sense I understand so I'm trying okay, to okay so you got online and uh, the mother wants you to go out with their daughter or something and you tried to act like a pervert so that you wouldn't uh, so she wouldn't want you to date her daughter yeah right that's what you're telling yeah and what type of things did you say I just want sex. That's all you said? I believe so. I didn't go into no details like in, in that thing over there. I, I guarantee that. I had never met the girl or anything like that. Okay. I mean. So when you said you just wanted sex, what happened then? Next thing I know, she was upset and crying and I was like, at just, the restaurant? No, I didn't say oh. this at the restaurant. This okay, was, you said this on the This was or? after, yeah, this was after the restaurant. They didn't find me at the restaurant. Okay. We was back there in the back at a far end table, I think, and they didn't see us or something. I knew what the mom looked like, and I can't remember if I seen a picture of the daughter or not, but I remember the woman had a... So where did you meet this cop and the girl and the mom at? I never met them. They, they, oh, okay. I t- the mom asked me 
I think as a mom asked me where it was what I was doing for my birthday because I mean yeah my birthday's November 15th and you know people ask people right that's a common thing online when's your birthday right and you without saying they try to get to know you what do you do for well what I'm saying is before this birthday thing before the birthday thing you I was trying to told her you just wanted to have sex no I told her after that after the birthday thing yeah, because, I mean, if they're going to find me there, it's yeah. like, a little strange. And, I mean, I okay, didn't... Okay, so I you didn't... told her after that. Yeah. Then what happened? And she was upset, and I tried to resolve the issue. And I went to te- the technical school I was going to then. And I come home that day, and mom's second husband says, You are... There's a cop calling here for you. I'm like, you, what, what's going on? And it was, I don't know, it wasn't a sheriff, it was a police officer, and he said that they are thinking about filing charges. And mom talked talk to him, and I don't know the whole story that, it's like, if he apologizes, we'll, we'll leave you alone. So I apologized, you know, and I, because I don't like trouble. Yeah. So you never got a ticket or anything for it? Or no. Never had to go to court? No. It was settled over the phone. And do you remember the girl's name? No, I do not, sir. Okay. How I, old was I, she? I want to say 14. That's why I didn't want to talk to her in the first place. Mm. I mean, I knew back then not to talk to people younger. Because, I mean, and I thought it was weird that the mom wanted me to talk to the daughter. If you knew, if you knew, why did you talk to this girl? I'll I'll talk to anybody on the internet, but I didn't mean for anything to escalate escalate to the way it did, neither. And, I mean, you say things and you don't think. I mean, we all do, I I'd say, and I I know what's in that. And you got time to to think about it now on what you said on some of the things you said, correct? Yeah, you know, and I mean, well, let me, let me. I egged a lot of it on, and she did a couple things. She did a couple things. Sir. What I did mean, she do to egg it on? Like, call, she called me today, want me to come up here. Mm-hmm. Well, you were telling her you were her boyfriend, right? Uh, you wanted to marry her. After she's 18? Okay. If we got along. Yeah, if you read that. Okay. I mean, I'm, 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 read it. I'm, I'm here's, sure I'll here's probably the, flip-flop. Here's the problem we got. Yeah. You ready for the problem? Yeah. Is you don't want to go to jail for a long time. Yes. All right. I want to know I want to know the story on what your intent is and what you're planning on doing. Okay? And some of these things I'm going to need you to explain because a jury... And a judge are going to be looking at these things, right? Okay. And they're going to say to themselves, this guy here might have been willing to kill this girl or something. No, sir. Because some of this stuff looks looks pretty bad. Um, but let's establish right up front, you knew that she was 13. I thought she was... Let, hold on, hold on. I told you we're going to be honest with each other, all right? I've been totally honest with you and up front. Yes, sir. I expect Mm -hmm. the same back, okay? If you'd have thought she was, if you wouldn't have known she was 13 or something, why were you right away worried about a cop and telling her I can't talk to you? In several chats and telling her how to, I mean, I I can read this chat right here and it talks about, talks about, her being 13 later on, and that is 13 days ago. And you're telling her how to get rid of stuff on the computer so nobody knows what you're talking about. I didn't want her to get in trouble so we okay. couldn't even speak. Okay. And I don't, I don't did want... You, did you not want her to get in trouble, or were you worried about you getting in trouble, or both? I was worried about her getting in trouble. You weren't worried about you getting in trouble? 
Mm. When the first thing you say is you're making sure there's not a cop or anything because you don't want instant trouble. I mean, the Again, part. Yeah, I'm. Let's, I'm, let's be I'm honest. being honest. I'm being honest, sir. The part about showing her how to clear that. Right. Well, so she didn't get trouble with her parents because she said she wasn't sp- supposed to be on the internet chat. Mm-hmm. I didn't want her to get in trouble like that. And I mean, if I get in trouble, I mean, I have to deal with the consequences. I'm dealing with them now and I hate them and I don't, I made some stupid choices and I don't want to. I wish I could take it back and I don't want to hurt nobody. And that's the truth. And I said some stupid things in there and. When, when you tell her to, you want to hide, hide the stuff that's on there and how to archive stuff, you know, a lot of this leads up to you wanting mm-hmm. to protect yourself more than worrying about her. Am I pretty accurate on that? Yeah, I was thinking more of her, but yeah, it was for me too and I, like I said I don't want trouble I mean I don't want nobody to get in trouble I'm not I'm not blaming you but what I gotta get to the bottom of here I know okay I'm, I'm being is, honest with you sir I've gotta get to the bottom of what's going on and when you tell me half the truth first mm-hmm. and then the other half of the truth later on and I gotta ask 10 more questions all you're doing is make it hard on me mm-hmm. and like I told you a judge and jury is gonna hear this mm-hmm. you have things in here asking her yeah, if I, she's if she's had her her first period yet, I know. Um, you have things in here that sound as if you want to uh, take her off somewhere, buy her from her mom. Yeah, that was a joke. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I said a lot of things. That you're that you're willing to take her, marry her. You want her to send her panties. I know that one was. I don't know. Her social security number? Like I said. So that you can find her? If something happened after, if we lost contact between now Mm -hmm. and when she was 18, that's what that was for. I'm being totally honest. And the paintings was a stupid thing. And I I was just to see if she was real. All right. And that's being honest. On the 13th, you knew she was a 13-year-old girl, correct? By what I just read you, and you just told me that, right? I'm guessing so. I'm bad with dates. Okay. That was seven days ago. And she'd been virgin, supposedly, is what you're thinking, or, or whatever. You're saying, I can't she wait. She said she was. You, you're saying, I can't wait to get your cherry. Yeah, I Which, Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm an old man. I might have been out of the system for a while, but that means that you're going to take her virginity. You're going to take her virginity. But at, now, hold on no, a second. Fine. And you came up here. I at didn't have eleven any, o'clock at night to meet because her. I couldn't get here any faster. Okay, I'd have been here during the day. <clears throat> Would you? You'd been here during the day. And I'm I'm being honest. You've sent her pornography over the internet. Is that, that one correct? Photo. And what's that a photo of? Because she said she'd never seen a penis before. Mm-hmm. And why did you send it to her? I don't know. That, I don't know. Because she said she'd never seen one. Okay. And, I mean, if somebody asks me a question out of curiosity or how do I do something, I'm stupid enough to tell you know, I try to help people. I share knowledge if I have hey, it. Remember, we're being honest with I know, each other. I know. Okay? I'm well, being honest with you. Let, let's be honest, okay? I am. If somebody asks you how to build a birdhouse, you might send them a diagram, okay? Yeah. But that a, was, girl that that age, a girl that age asks you or says she never seen a penis, and I don't recall her asking you. I've read the entire string of chat, and she never mm-hmm. asked you to send her what a picture of a penis would look like, right? I asked her if she wanted to see it, and she said yeah. Hold on. But she's asking you or telling you she's not seen a penis or nothing, right? Correct. Right. 
Were you trying to get her excited about sex? No. But, no, sir. I, How many of these chats do I have to read out loud to, for you to say the truth of what you were doing? You're asking her to touch herself. You're asking her if you show up, will she touch you? If that's not trying to get somebody excited about sex, what's it trying to do? You're not sending well, a birdhouse. Well, there was a few of them that was... Did you send that pornography to introduce her to sex? No, sir. Why did you send it then? Because she said she never seen one, and I mean, I'm being honest. Okay. Why does it? Why does a girl that age have to see one? I don't know. I don't have no answer for that one. <laughs> there is no... Was it to educate her about sex? I, subconsciously, I guess so, because I mean... I didn't think that when I was seeing it neither, and I mean, I don't, I was just... She was your so. she was your girlfriend on the internet, and I can appreciate that, a girlfriend, you know, you're, you're I thinking, know, and I mean, you're thinking you're gonna, you're gonna, you're I'm, gonna have a girlfriend for life, correct? Yeah, because I get lonely, and I mean... Understood. A, a lot of people look down upon me for my disability, and it hurts, and hey, I've hey, had mental breakdowns. You're looking at a chubby bald guy, buddy. It ain't uh Well, you ain't chubby. It ain't I'm chubby. It ain't easy. I know it ain't easy. So okay? I mean I know I it ain't just... easy, man. But you met her, she was your girlfriend. You were gonna have you were gonna come up here, you were gonna meet her, you're gonna watch some movies, right? Yeah, that's what, what she's... movies were you gonna watch? I don't know. Okay. If I figured she the way she described her parents, she was, I figured she if had if she was willing based on everything you said were you going to have sex with her? You want the honest truth? That's why I'm sitting here. I I was going to meet her, and we may have, we may not have, if we got along, if not. Why did you bring the KY jelly? It was to have sex, correct? With the if, if it led up to that, because, I mean, like I said, if it led up to that, if... I didn't plan on having sex. I didn't come up here planning on not having sex, having it either way. Like I said, I picked it up. I grabbed it. I grabbed a few things okay. real quick. You grab, okay. If I'm going out on a first date, my first thought is and throw some KY jelly in the truck. If I know that, that this girl is a sure thing, I'm going to throw some KY jelly in the truck. And I mean, did you, did you throw the KY jelly in the truck because you're pretty sure you're going to have sex if somebody wants you to come no. that far to see them? No, sir. I mean, you I, didn't. You didn't take it that she wanted to have sex from. Do I have to read uh, the chats? No, sir. Okay. No. You pretty much knew it was, that you were coming up here for sex, correct? No, sir. It was one of those fifty-fifty things, and I understand you, where you're coming from. Are you going to make me read the chats again? No, sir. I understand what we said. And okay. I asked her if we was. Where do you want my sperm first? I don't know. Mouth, pussy, or ass? I, I mean, that wasn't in reference of meeting today. Okay. I want, all I want to do, okay, A lot of is, is get on with this interview, but we've got to get over this hurdle. I know. Okay? I know. We've got to get to the truth. I'm, I'm Why I'm you threw the KY on. jelly in there? Did you come up here? Expecting to have sex with this girl by because of her emails back to you, and no, you sir. saying you want to have sex, and she's like, "Yeah, sounds cool." No, sir. I mean, it was one of those fifty-fifty things she wanted. Fifty-fifty. If we could have had sex, we could not have had sex, and I mean. But you would have had sex if you hit it off with her. If we got along, and I thought it was a meaningful relationship, honestly, then yeah. But if we didn't get along, no. Because I'm not one of these people that... Well, you asked her to be naked for you to get here. In one of your chats way back when y'all talked about meeting the first time, you said something about being naked when you get there in your panties or something like that. forget exactly how you worded it. I'm trying to think of that one myself, sir. And I'm being honest. I I want to get you drunk. Later on. Yeah. This is a yeah. this is a twelve year old girl. Do you know the drinking age in Kentucky? Eighteen. Okay. Yeah, I I didn't it's say twenty one. 
I would. But let me yeah, tell I mean, you this. Yeah, I was 21, but okay. I wouldn't. Remember what I told you before about a judge and jury is going to hear this. I know. This sounds to me like you wanted to hurt somebody. Yeah. Would you be mad if I got you drunk and had sex with you however I wanted and the next day you were in pain? I want to F you really hard one time. Now, when you were yeah. coming up here. I forgot I even had that conversation. Okay. That's what you want to do. That's what you're telling her you want to do. That okay? was not... If you have a meaningful relationship, were you wanting to have a meaningful relationship and, and make love to this girl, or were you wanting to just do her real hard and treat her bad and beat I, on her? Or I was what? wanting to have a real relationship with her. Yeah. That was that was meant for much later on, and I don't even know why I even come up with that one and said that. You know. But if things would have worked out, you'd have had sex with her tonight. If we got along and stuff, and I mean, I don't know. All right. I mean, I've met people out, offline before, and I've met people... You spend a lot of time on the computer? <sighs> yeah, because, I mean, I sit there and I play games on the computer and on the Xbox 360, and it's... I mean, I don't have much else to do because I mean I've tried to look for a real job mm -hmm. and it's impossible to find a job it's going to be real impossible after this but people look so down computers, computers a good thing you know if used correctly a computer's a good place to meet friends yeah and I mean other than th this situation that other one I told you about I've never done anything like that what all chat rooms do you visit uh, the Tennessee ones I listed earlier, like one, two, three, five, seven, nine, I think. How just, do they look on the internet? Is it Tennessee one or something? Or? Yeah, you just sign sign in, and then a wrestling chat room. Wrestling That's, chat room. Have you ever met anybody in any other chat rooms that you've had sex with? Yes. Any of them underage? No, sir. No. What's their screen names? Do you remember any of them? I can try to. XX, Perfect Drug, XX, I think. Where Where did you meet these people at? Which chat rooms? The same ones? This, is, this has been over years and years. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to say. And she was talking to me about she had moved back to Tennessee, and she would like to see me again, and I was like, okay. I talked to her some, and then she disappeared again. The one, you, Not this one, the one you had sex with. Yeah, and she was, uh, I want to say 21. 21? Nobody underage? No, sir. All right. Uh, what's your cell phone number? And if I had the phone in front of me, I could tell you who's who, if I had had anything with them, how where, old they are. Where do you live at right now? At home with my mama. And I mean, like, I would rather break the stupid news to her first. Okay, what, uh, what city is that again? I mean, like I said, I don't want to go to jail. I can't live in jail, and I don't want no problems. And it, Now, when you live there with her, is that your computer? Is that her computer? Or? She bought it, but I use it. Where's it at? 
in the house. And I guess it's my living area. Your living area? Yeah, I mean, I've got a bedroom. I've got two bedrooms. One, one's got my bed in it, and then the other one's computer desk. And, and that's your area? Yeah, computer desk. Does she TV. use the computer? She has a few times. She's used it a few. She had her own and it tore up. And she uses that occasionally and stuff. So it's you, you and your mom just live together? Her third husband. He lives there too? Yeah. Does he use your computer? Mm, he's used it a couple times to look at x-rays and he's used hers a couple times. But x-rays? He's got a bad back and neck. Oh, okay. And he's not very computer literate. And mm. What kind of computer is it? Just uh, one I custom ordered. Oh, you custom ordered it? Yeah. I ordered the parts and I had a friend to help me build it. Oh, really? I can do I can do parts of it, but I can't do a few things with it because so of So you're my pretty hand. computer savvy, though? Somewhat. depends on the subject. I mean, up I, until two years ago, I didn't know there was a caps lock button. <laughs> didn't know what that meant, so I didn't touch it. But you can build one so, with a little help. Yeah, really? I mean, it's just buying the parts and yeah. stuff on the side. And what about a a webcam? You got one of them? No, sir. I had a uh, I had a uh, some kind of cheap digital camera that they had on TV. I plugged it up once to see what it was about a webcam, and I don't even know where the thing is. It's mm -hmm. either in the closet or buried in the computer desk one. Do you have any pornography on your computer? Yes, sir. Anything of anybody underage? I don't think so. You don't think so? How could you not know? Did you ever see any underage on your, on your computer or view any images? I've viewed images before, under, I think. Of underage people? Not meaning to, and I don't know what I'll save on it. What do you mean, not meaning to? How can you not mean to? I mean, you go on, on the internet and look at porno, and you don't know if they're of age or not. Mm -hmm. Some are. Well, remember, I just told you, I just found a caps lock button a couple years ago, so I'm not real computer savvy. So explain to me how you get porn on the internet. I understand you can punch in porn, but what I'm talking about is underage people. Do you do you exchange porn with other people? No, sir. Okay, how do you? I do have, that? I've well, I will change that story a small bit. I have a female friend that has sent me a couple fo female photos of a couple of her friends on a adult friend finder or something like that. Okay. But so, so the porno. That you're looking at is off of websites. Yeah. Is that what and, you're telling me? Yeah, and off of Emul X, and I mean. Off of what? A download program. Download program? What yeah. did you call it just now? Emul X. Emul X? It's Emul, but you don't have to share stuff to send. So that could be just other people sending you stuff? Yeah. Do you, uh, do you save porn on your computer? Yes. Videos or just pictures or, or both? Or? Both, and I'm, I need to delete it. I meant to. Do you burn uh, any CDs or anything of it? I think they have been burnt CDs of it, and I don't know exactly where they are. I don't know if they're on the desk, if I throw them away or what. I can't. And, I mean, I'm getting rid of it as soon as I go home because I don't want trouble, and I don't. And I mean, I, I help my buddy do DVDs. And I mean, I. He, Did y'all ever burn any porn DVDs? No, he, he, he does wrestling DVDs of himself. Okay. That over the years. And I've edited the matches down. Right. So he can sell them and stuff. Because okay. they're, they're his matches. And I mean,. I can't lose the computer because I can't help him if I lose the computer. And I help him with his website. And I mean, I'm being honest with you, sir. And I mean, like, 
soon as I get out of here, I'll go home and delete any porno off the web, off the computer. Go through every DVD I have, CD, whatever. I say DVD and CD, and it's the same thing to me because it's the basics. Well, pornography in itself, looking at porno, isn't necessarily legal. What I'm interested in is if you have pornography of underage people, and you told me not that you know of. What, um, what is the likelihood that we're going to find something that's somebody underage? There's probably a few photos and a few videos that I had downloaded. Of underage people? Yeah, but like I said, I ain't went through. You downloaded them? Yeah, did but Did you I, save them? But I have not went through all of them. But did you Anything. save them? Yeah, they're on the hard drive, and I mean, there's a... At one point, it was saving things in different folders, and I had not went through everything to see what it is. Right. That's what I'm saying. Did you, uh, what's the likelihood that you burned any of these to disc where there's underage people? I don't think I had because the ones. You don't think? I'm asking you what no. the likelihood is. Do you remember ever burning any? The only ones that I've burnt to DVD, I had viewed, and there is no children in them. Did you ever share any pornography with underage people? No. Okay. I don't share porno, period. Once you get it yours? Yeah. You got to find it yourself. Okay. And I mean, because I don't know who's who would be on the other end. So your mom and I guess your stepdad and you you live in this house. Is there anybody else that lives there? No, sir. No children? At one point, her niece was staying with us, and I wouldn't... Your mom's niece? Yeah, and I would never think of doing anything. And How old was she? You're asking a hard question because I can't even remember Proxy. her birthday sometimes. Six to eight, and I mean... You never did nothing with her? God, no. What's her name? I don't know her last name. Okay. And Who's uh, your internet provider? It's changed over the years, and uh, if they don't change it, it's going to be Earthlink because Earthlink. they had messed up my, inter my credit card bill. When's the last time you get on your computer to uh, receive pornography? To receive porno, been a while. Been a while? Been a long time. When's the last time you chatted with a girl other than the girl that you got picked up for tonight? In what manner? Talking about sex or anything. Uh... I was aggravating a late 20 year old last night or the night before aggravating her about sex uh, I think I she was was joking around about my space mm -hmm. and she said oh no boy well, you upset there ain't no uh, sex sex survey I said, no, but what's your favorite position? That's all it was. That's all it was. I, I was and I said, uh, what was it? Would you run away with me, I think it was. Just joking with her. I mean, her husband's around. Mm -hmm. Joking. And I would never do anything like that, and I mean, it's... I gotta go. Did you have a driver's license in your wallet? Yes, sir. Okay. I gotta go get your driver's license real quick, okay? And then I'll be right back. We'll finish up and we'll get you taken care of so you can get out of here, okay? Okay. What's gonna happen to me, sir? Well, I'm gonna release you to a transport officer. They're gonna take you over to the jail, okay? And they're gonna let you make bond, all right? What's how much is bond? I don't know. We don't set that. Do I have the jail to... sets that? I can't make bond. Well, there's a lot of different options on it too, but I don't I don't know what they're offering tonight or What's what, what the it's going to be. 
Well, that, like people can sign for you or they can OR you, but it's all up to the judge and up to the jail. I don't have any control on that. Okay? But let me get your driver's license. I'll come back and talk to you just one minute, okay? Okay. Here's what we're going to need to do real quick. Okay, well, here's what we need to do real quick. All right? Okay. All right. We're going to fill this out right here. Let me ask you this. On your house... I got an address here of one house. Correct, sir. Not a duplex, nothing like mm -hmm. that. It's a single house. Yes. Yeah, I thought we. I thought mom had changed it. I can't do nothing. Yeah, get this. Okay, they put red light, the 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 cameras up there in Kingsport at a couple red lights. And I ain't saying nothing bad, but they changed the timing on them from like five, six seconds to three seconds. And I get to the second hash marking before the red light, it goes to yellow. You know, I thought I could go through it. Yeah. And I get halfway below it, and it goes red. Because, I mean, two hash markings, you're going to slam on your brakes and probably hit the steering wheel. Yeah. So I had to go through it, and, I mean, on the registration it says... Right. The ticket only come in Mom's name. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh-oh. And Mom that, probably wasn't happy, was she? She said, she was like, well... You owe me a hundred dollars. I'm like, oh God, that was me because another car ran the red light at the same time on the yeah. other side. Yeah. Well. So. And it's a single house. What color is it? Uh, whitish, off white, I guess. Is it uh? What's on the outside of it? Is it siding or? Yeah, it's siding. Is it vinyl or wood or? It's siding. I mean, uh, vinyl siding. Vinyl siding. What are y'all gonna search it now? Well, I gotta know where it's at and what the description is. And uh, before you all do, could I please call her and let her know? Well, you're gonna get to make a phone call at the jail, and you live a long ways away, so you know. <laughs> I'd say it'd probably be a guess, yeah. Well, I mean, I would, I would guess, yeah, but I have no control on that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going down there to search it, okay. But somebody might, and I have no control over when you get your phone call to jail, okay. Well, I'm, I mean, I understand. She's gonna be pissed off either way. Sorry to use say so that. So your house is vinyl siding. Is it? Is Room it one show. or two stories? One. One story. Is there a garage on it or anything? Carport, gravel driveway, iron shutters. Is there a number on it? Box out front or anything? Should be. I'm trying to think if the it's still there or not. There's a the is or was. I'm the memory's bad. I'm wanting to say there's gold numbers on the but post. They may be gone. Carport that says one four nine. What's the most unusual about think about your house? If I wanted to pick it out, what would I look for? It's the only one on it side of the street it's got a gravel driveway and a carport okay only one i believe so and i mean you ain't gonna miss it with that description 
What about the other side of the street? Are there ones with gravel driveway? No houses. I think one trailer has a gravel driveway. Any other ones have carports? There's a couple, but that's the only vinyl, I think, with a carport. This uh, stepdad of yours, has he ever been arrested? I don't know. Okay. Are there I've, any guns I've in the house or anything? I don't know if he has any or not in there. I think they might be a rifle BB gun behind the door. But you've never seen any guns other than the BB gun? At one point, Mom had like a little Dillinger, but I think she either gave it away or threw it away because it didn't work. That was on top of the refrigerator. But a a Derringer, right? I guess. I don't know. It's yeah. to tile about that long. And I mean, I have guns. Okay. I don't. I can't fire them, so I don't right. own any. Okay. The only gun I may have is a light gun for a video game system. <laughs> I think I seen that the other day when I. Went there for a controller, but I mean that ain't a real gun neither. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, you have any dogs or anything? I think Mom's keeping her her brother's dog in there, and there's a cat. What kind of dog? It's like a six or eight week pit bull. Does it bite? Playfully. Okay, but it don't go up. And Grab your leg and try and take a chunk out of you, kill you. It's about like that, like that, like that, it, I guess. I mean, can you walk up and pet it and stuff? Yeah, I did. Without having it yeah. go for your throat? Yeah. All right. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out here, finish up your citation, hand it off to the officer It's going to transport you. Justin, good luck to you. Uh -huh. uh, do you have anything to tell me before I leave? Anything else? Other than I'm sorry that I didn't mean no harm. and I know I said incriminating stupid stuff and I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I mean that's God's honest truth and I don't want trouble and I don't want to go to jail and I don't want to stop the legal system and I, I hate that I'm wasting your time on... Uh, I well, I'm not be here stupid, anyways, but... but but, I mean, you're doing, you, Justin. Doing, doing what you need to. I can't believe I've done this. Let me guess. NBC's going to follow me around everywhere. Well, they're the media, and I don't run the media, okay? All right. I'm going to go out here and write this citation up and we'll be back with you. Mr. McFetridge? Yes, sir. We just need to get your social security number so we can process the paperwork. Can I get that from you? I believe that's correct. I would have right now the way I feel. You might want to check the driver's license. Okay. No, it ain't even on the driver's license. So, yeah, I think that's it. We'll, we'll cross check it. If it ain't, I mean, oh, God, I'm, I'm about to have a mental breakdown because I just can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I done what I done, went through with what I did, and I wouldn't believe okay. it. Well, well, we'll cross check this. Thank you. Just about ready to get you out of here. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Are they already sending cops to the house to search? No, 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 not at all. What are they going to do? Confiscate all the CDs and computers? Well, or what? now that computer you use is the only computer in the house, right? It, that's in your area? Yeah. I'm... Are there any other computers in the house? No. The only other computer that was in the house? Yeah. Was broken and. Where's it at? 
at a friend's house. So we're trying to figure out if we can fix it or not. Right. But there's nothing on it, and honestly, I'll, I'll be honest with you. If you that friend? Is it the same wrestling buddy friend? No. Hmm. On the computer deal, mm -hmm. all the stuff that I've ever downloaded mm -hmm. is on the secondary hard drive. Right. So if the cops want that, mm -hmm. if they would allow me to keep the computer and mm -hmm. me just give them the hard drive, mm -hmm. I would take it out and hand it to them and let them see the... What's your eye color? Huh? What's your eye color? I don't know. It changes. Green? It really, it's, some days it's green, uh, blue, and... What's your approximate weight? 250, 260. What's late. your home phone? Uh, it's all, always connected to the internet, so... Okay, do you have an emergency phone number? I'll be calling here. What's this? Uh, where this other computer is? Your old computer? What's What's that person's name? Where it's at? Ben. Do you know his last name? No. Do you know his address? No. Just Ben. Would your mom know where to find him? Uh, don't think so. I've never. What's Ben do? He repairs computers for a living. Okay. If If the police want it, I'll take it to him. Because, right. I mean, I ain't going to fight you guys because, I mean, if I fight you guys, it's going to make you, everything worse on me. So, I, Right. What's what? your, what's your, you ever been married at all? Yes. So, are you divorced? Yes, sir. All right. That's pro probably what's driving me crazy. You want to come out here? You come on with me.